um there were a few things i did want to like briefly talk about a little little video showing off some showing off some tech and i don't mean some like sam show or street fighter 5 or guilty gear strive tech i mean actual technology so an acquaintance of mine uh mr mr john buttero at buttercade a man who i have worked with in the past on a couple different occasions he provided the butterbox 3d printed uh arcade stick case that i reviewed on my youtube channel about a year or two ago and he also helped provide a couple of uh snap out tools for a couple of giveaways that i've done in the past so this is a man who is known for creating a bunch of new and interesting little tools, accessories, and peripherals for arcade sticks and arcade stick hardware. And he did something a little bit interesting here. So what you're seeing is, is a normal arcade stick for the most part. It's a traditional uh, arcade stick layout. Uh, I'm covering the last, two, the last two buttons, but it's an eight button layout with an extra button towards the bottom. You look at this layout and you think, okay, it might just be a, a cross-up layout because it, you know, it, it it has the it has the eight buttons and it has an extra button here, which is usually used for like a a D-pad direction. For those of you who are familiar with how the uh, cr cross-ups uh, inputs are kind of mapped, the default cross-up layout is programmed such that the joystick is tied to the directional inputs on a d-pad whereas the directional buttons are tied to the directional inputs of the left joystick and sometimes it's reversed but that is how the cross-up uh maintains its legality as a fighting game controller for tournaments so it looks like on the surface that this might be the case but you'll notice the additional top three buttons that are usually there for the cross-up layout they aren't there so what's the what's the big deal so I want you to take a very close look at this video. You move back. And he, he's tapping the button. He's getting the SOCD backdash. Holding back, pressing a button, getting forward. So, so you're seeing he's, he's you're seeing he's getting a, a charge back special motion just by pressing that button and an attack button at the same time. So it's like okay, so yeah, so it's just like a forward button then. Well, he's moving forward. He's also getting the SOCD backdash. Up, getting the SOCD flash kick, all from the same button. There's no, there's no multiple direction buttons. It's just this one singular button. Leo charge projectile. In all of its variations, and Leo's flash kick. So y'all might be wondering what sort of witchcraft device have the cheat box makers come up with this time? That is an auto SOCD button. Auto simultaneous opposite cardinal direction button. Whatever direction you are holding on your joystick, that button will automatically give you the opposite direction so you might be wondering like okay wait how do, how does something like this work on a technical level well someone in the twitter thread did ask about this and according to this it is an additional add-on to the brook uh universal fighting board and apparently it goes on the left between uh the button and the and the ufb so my guess is that that extra button gets wired in to this little add-on and this little addition to the PCB allows you to basically use whatever opposite direction that uh, the, the UFB is currently accepting from the joystick and then you use that on the button input. It's pretty interesting in terms of how it does like SOCD cleaning automatically for a singular button instead of having it be like tied to separate individual buttons. It's important to notice this is not a current product that is on the market this is a thing that he's currently testing he's trying to gauge general interest for this and he's trying to see if it's something that people would actually be interested in of course i would be interested in trying this out but i believe this enters like a really awkward gray area in terms of controller legality in the, in the sense that you have a singular button that can perform multiple actions at any given moment tournament wise 
this would be illegal. Even still, this thing being out in the masses, can you imagine the chaos that would ensue in the online realms? If you are a, a player of charged characters and you're playing on a mix box or a hit box, this is something you definitely want to, to have a look at. If you, if you wanted to streamline playing a charged character even more, this is the next step. This is the literal next step. Now, mind you, Buttercade has not disclosed exactly how he got all this, this stuff to work, and he hasn't disclosed if he will actually end up selling this. I'm going to I'm going to talk with him, hopefully at some point, either through Discord or through other means, and uh, see if I could potentially get my hands on one of these. And if I'm able to, I would love to cover this in the video, and like maybe like maybe like uh, mess around in like. Do like a couple of guile streams on this thing because that this this could be fun so if that's something that you want to see feel free to let me know either on twitch on youtube on twitter just let me know if you would like to see more coverage on what he is calling the buttercade antagonist what a villainous name for such a peripheral